I do a lot of talks to corporate people. And if I'm dealing with a group of corporate executives, I usually will ask this question. How many of you, when you were growing up, had dinner with the entire family sitting around the table and you sat down at a specific time and it was the same every night? Would you raise your hands? Every night you had dinner with your family and you sat down for a, at the same hour and you probably sat around the table for at least an hour. Would you raise your hands? Almost every hand will go up. And then I'll say, how many of you today have a specific hour for dinner in which the whole family sits down and talks and visits for an hour? Would you raise your hands? There can be 300 people there. 10 hands will go up. And you realize that we're falling apart as a society. And we're wondering why our families are not lasting, why divorce rates are so high. Because the rituals that bring us together and mold us together and solidify us together. The only time where people really understand this is Thanksgiving. Because Thanksgiving is the one time in the year where the whole family sits down at the same hour, eats exactly the same food, makes exactly the same comments like, great filling, what's in it? Same thing as last year, idiot. Yeah. Nothing changes. And then one day, the kid calls you and says, the gang's going down for Thanksgiving break. We're going down to Florida. It's been tough up here at school. We're taking a little R&R. &R. And your wife on the extension line says, but Bart, we always have Thanksgiving together. And she, he says, you act like it's the end of the world. I'm not going to be there for Thanksgiving. It's a big deal. He's never read Emil Durkheim. Mm -hmm. Neither is she. But it is the end of the world because our families are held together by collective rituals, eating together, mm -hmm. praying together, uh, doing things ritualistically, always done at the same place in the same time, vacations, birthdays, celebrated in a particular manner. This is all part of the Christian lifestyle. Yeah. Are there rituals that define your family? Mm -hmm. Are there rituals that you go through? Do you put your kid to bed with rituals? Mm -hmm. uh, we do in our house, and yeah. we did as our kids were young. Yeah. Rituals that create a sense of well-being, of security, of belongingness. And without these rituals, as Tevier says, we all become as shaky as a fiddler on the roof. Mm.